Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Play of Catherine Town, episode 13. And today I bring you back for the FA Cup against Cambridge. And following the Cambridge match we'll be also taking on Boston of course. So, exciting game either way. It's going to be good matches, it's a good decent side, Maybe, hopefully get through, make a bit of money. I feel like we send a good chance, not a great chance but a decent chance. Anyway, this is just last year, of course, we had the, bath ma the match against Bath, we actually went into uh, penalties, which was um, a bit of a rough, I'd say, that match was. But since we had a 1-0 loss to Kings Lynn, which was not too good at home, then we followed up to a draw, but thankfully got back to win Warriors. We had a few interesting matches, though, and there's, a, there's a, something easy, a few of them, and a bit of interesting goals as well, and uh, it's, it's been going pretty good. And hopefully we keep this form up and stand a chance today against Cambridge. Before we do that though, I would like to show you the goal that won us against Alterdom, which was um interesting. That's what I'm gonna say. An interesting way to score a goal. Uh but yeah, as you can see here, it's nothing nothing crazy. It's just gonna be a simple cross into the box. Met by a header. I think it's going to be saved, but apparently the keeper just brought over line for a reason. And uh, <laughs> we win 1 0. So we take those. Um, yeah. That's that. Uh, apart from that, I will uh, skip us forward uh, all the tactics and I will see you at the match against Cambridge. Alright then, here we are against Cambridge. Looks to be a pretty much almost a sellout stadium, which is going to be great for us. Good for fans, good for money. It is going to be a highlight for them. I do expect them to be on the front foot. Majority of the game, I'd say. As they are currently with the ball. Whipped over to the right side now. Can we get into the ball? Can we tackle? Nope, whipped in. Head. Do I miss a header? That is very rare, but that makes us 1-0 behind. So I, I stopped the saying to him, because I, I expect Do I to actually head that way, but... Unfortunately, didn't. that's rarity though. Dwyer does not get to a header like that. And just like that already, within 10 minutes, we were 1-0 behind against Cambridge. That was a, that was a rare mistake, that was, I'd say. A rare mistake made by Dwyer. Usually very consistent, never makes a mistake, nothing, you know, horribly bad. He doesn't miss headers, but he missed out once about. But it gives some encouragement to the lads. We are in cautious, of course, because, um, well, they are quite simply the bad team, so. There's that. They do have a yellow card, not as yet, though. Still plenty of time to come to the game, though. As we're now at the 35 minute mark, well over halfway through the first half now. If we can keep it 1 0, I have good hope that we can. I, mean, I hope, I believe we can bring back at least a goal. Because there is a highlight at the end of the half. With them though. They are breaking forward. Still going. Shoots. Oof. It's well over in the end, but on a different day that would have gone in. Anyway, let's uh, give us some equipment, shall we? We've got to, we've got to try. We can't just let ourselves down here. You know, this is the first we've made it in the FA Cup, and I believe the FA Cup in real life for Catherine, the third round. Yeah, yeah, just double checked. It is the furthest I made. So we're going to bring off one player now. I'm going to go to a 4-4-2, see if this makes a real difference. I've been trying this recently, having them more on the right and overloading it on the right side. It, it works in a few matches, but we'll see if it works there, shall we? 60 minutes on the clock now. Still no highlights going on there. Gonna bring it up a little bit now. I don't really think I can make too many subs because 
I believe I'm going to remember it. The game after this is like a few days after, which is against Boston. But I am going to bring on the youngster on the right. Alright. Bring on this for now. See how it goes. Hutchinson can play in midfield, this is why I've done this. It's a strange one. He's not actually meant to be in midfield, but he looks incredible as a Mazala, so I've been training him there. Not too bad, actually. 18 minutes in the clock. Still, maybe a chance? Either way, if we lose by 1 0, we're inside in a national Joe you know, League against the team in League 1. It gives me good hope for the future, that's what it is. Gonna change to Mazala. I'm not sure if this is an actual highlight or it's just a. Just a showing. Yeah, it's just a showing. 85 minutes gone. And it does look now the game is just starting to wind down now. Is it gonna be the 1 0? It is unfortunately going to be the 1 0. I. If I compare it though, we stood up to a League One side the way we did. I'm happy with it. I'm honestly happy with, you know, they probably have players who are worth much more than ours, wages wise as well. We're still a very small side, of course. Still very young side, so a lot to learn. But it was a good match. Fairly good attendance as well, actually, so that's going to be good for many of those. Anyway. On to the next match, of course, against Boston, which is going to be going to be an interesting one because the rivals again. And I'll see you in that match against Boston United. And here we are against Boston United. Made a few subs, nothing to you to know. Uh, Keaton Warren makes a start. Nothing much to note about. Hutchinson goes back to the left side of the field as well. This is mostly just because of their fitness. It's been two days since the match, and I'm pretty sure if they played, they would be absolutely exhausted and we would finish the match. Apart from that, though, it's nothing huge to note. They would have had an injury for one of their players, which is interesting to note. My main focus of this game is the fitness levels, though, because we did just play a high intensity game against Cambridge, of course, so we need to keep everyone. Fitness on on a check. We've had three yellow cards already. Though. This is four yellow cards. Oh my goodness. We may need to calm down the tackles. So we do have a highlight here. It's going all the way back to the keeper. Now to Hills. Now to Kezu. Still going forward, still going, still going. Good run, Hutchison. Can he cross? He can. I mean, it's a goal. And we'll take it. Uh, in terms of the goals we've been getting recently, like own goals, a lot of them have happened so far in this uh, full launcher. So, um, yeah, I'll take that. Um, Went straight through the keeper's arm, we had no chance, unfortunately. Out of that, we do take a 1 0 lead. Despite having only two shots behind a possession, we're ahead, and we take that. And with that, that is the end of the first half. I do now expect them to come out as though for everything they've got, because we are playing away. If he was playing at home, I'd have more, like, belief, but right now we're playing away, and, yeah, that's so everything's good. That's, that was a brilliant block at the end there by Ward. Last man. Corners them. Swinging. And we do head away. They still have the ball, though. Just need to win this ball back. Uh, 
and that's the end of the highlight. Okay. But so let's still play with the ball there, but um, yeah, these yellow cards, these need to calm down because this this is how we lose a game with getting red cards all over and suspensions, which we can't hugely afford because we don't have the huge amount of depth at the time. The depth in our team can be a bit thin. There is a highlight here, 53 minutes. Lumped over. He's chasing it. Barrow's chasing it. Good save in the end. Let's keep an eye on that because uh, I feel that's like what they're going to be doing because they probably know that Adia and sorry Hills and Hopkins are not the quickest. So yeah, let's keep an eye on that. And of a long wall to the box, can we head away? We missed the header. Preston. Oh. I'd like to know what happened to that header though, because I, f I f was it, Ho it was Hawkins apparently. He completely missed a header. It comes in here. You see, oh, he completely missed it. I don't know if that we to one one one. In fairness, we should have even have the one to ourselves. So. I'm just gonna have, to, I'm gonna have to try and hold on for this draw because there's no way we're gonna win. We're away from we're away from home, and they have the momentum right now. Don't really know if temper's gonna make a difference, but we'll see. It's 60 minutes on the clock now. Still going now. Uh, do we have a heart here at seven minutes? Look, hopefully the players don't get too tired when keep going. Still the ball there, but if we just keep them away, it should be good. I don't know if I should slow down the amount we're pressing because it's going to start making an effect on our team, and they're going to get really tired. They're just chasing the ball at this point. As he's played behind, but Kyrgyz gets her in time. Now with Hills. Lums forward. McKee. Doesn't win that ball. Got to break it forward here. Harriet for them. Oh, he's through. Please save it. He does. Okay. We survived that round. I don't think passing the space is really a huge amount, but something I have to try. I can't, can't just do nothing at this point. We've had five shots, and yet none have been a target, but we have somehow that one goal. If we draw this, it'll be a miracle. That's, that's what I'll say right now. I'm going to have to go all out just to try. Still not been on target of a single shot yet. A late corner for them. Can we head away? In the box. Oh, it's the pro. Oh, it hit the post. I think the player headed it down and booted it. I, it happened so quick. We get away with that one, we do. We definitely get away with that one. It's just lumped over the bar now. That was really close, I was, though. But, we're surviving. 90 minutes, 90 minute mark. 92. And that's the end of the match against Boston United. Honestly, looking at the XG, and the way we played, we didn't deserve that draw. That's just plain simple. Another day, that goes against us. But, if I look at it, that's probably one of the biggest points if it says that considering how we played poorly and we still grind the points out that was good to see but if that that will be today's episode of course uh, it wasn't a bad one Cambridge match wasn't too bad we could have maybe got some more of it but at the end of the day they are ahead of us 
but in terms of when I'm probably going back, um, I'm looking at the end of January. Get some transfers done, and we come back then. So Steamage, maybe Grimsby, uh, Grimsby match. Yeah, that'd be a good match to test the Celtic. Second round against Steamage. Let's see how it goes, shall we? Anyway, until that next match, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Make sure to sub if you like to the game, like the video even. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you around.